my dog is staring at me. Come sit here. Sit. Fine. You would not believe the trouble I went through yesterday to get part one of this video up. <sighs> I don't know what happened, basically. It took so much trouble. The file corrupted basically, but then my PC was being an absolute biatch. So, when I calmed down, because I got myself in such a tears over it, I just edited it on my Mac and it was fine. Some people might have given up, taken it as a sign that Fate doesn't want you to put up this video. They're not me. No. I saw it as a challenge. And I won that challenge. And my reward was five views. Yes. So, on to part two. Months July through to December. On the 31st of July, right at the end, I saw Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This was my return to the cinema to see Harry Potter because I didn't see, I've seen all of them at the cinema except Order of the Phoenix. I don't know why. And as a result, I still actually haven't seen that film in full. So... But I have read the books, so at least that's something. I can't really remember much about the half Blood Prince. I remember the book was quite boring. But do you know what, to be honest, when I read it, I've still got a better mental picture of it than it turned out to be. Yeah, easily. You know, the movies can never be the books. But I am hoping that the next two movies to bring Deathly Hallows to the big screen go somewhere because that is an awesome book. In August, the beautiful month of August 2009, I went to see Orphan on the 21st. And often it was a really good film, but more psychological, even though it's quite gruesome and quite uh, sadistic in its nature. I hope they make a sequel for that that's not absolutely rubbish. <laughs> Isn't that the hope for everything, though? Yeah, they have to have Esther if they have a sequel. Although, that might be hard. They'd have to basically do it now, otherwise she would age. It wouldn't really be the same. Yeah, maybe they should just cut the losses and remake Bloody Birthday instead. No, that's my idea. Don't give it away. <laughs> it's not my idea, actually. I'm taking all the credit here, James. Um, in September... Ooh, September was busy. I saw three films starting on the 1st of September. I went to see Final Destination 4, even though it's called The Final Destination. They really screwed up that title. And they pretty much screwed up the movie. It wasn't the best. It was better than two, but not as good as three, and not as good as the original. The same week, I went to see... District 9. This was the best movie I saw at the cinema in 2009, beating Star Trek, simply because of its low budgetness and the fact that it didn't show. It looked amazing and the plot was amazing, the graphics were amazing, the characters were amazing, even though the guy, guy in it had never acted before. This is what made it so amazing. I loved District 9. It is so good. Best movie of 2009 that I saw. 
followed two weeks later by Sorority Row. <laughs> a remake of The House on Sorority Row, which I haven't seen. And I don't like that I haven't seen it because I do like to compare and contrast. I was not offended by Sorority Row. It was a fun horror film with lots of girls getting murdered. And what's her face? Uh, don't say what's her face. You follow her on Twitter. Carrie Fisher. As, what do they call them? Head of the sorority? I don't know. Moving on to October. I forgot about this film. It was very good. Definitely in the top five of the best films that I saw in 2009. Zombieland. Funny and bloody. But not necessarily scary. Even though it has zombies in it. It's really good. And that's all I saw in October. But in November, I saw The Fourth Kind with Mila Jovovich. And I loved this film, but I went to see it with my dad. And he said it was the worst film he'd ever seen. Which I thought was very harsh. And he got talking to someone outside when it was over and we were waiting for a taxi. Who said that it was the worst film they'd ever seen as well. But the person they were with said it was a good film. And I, I'm under the impression that it was a good film. Sometimes when you're in a cinema, you sort of are under the cinema's spell. I felt that way with X-Files. I've yet to rewatch it, even though I've owned it for months. I, I'm just scared of rewatching it because I'm afraid that the cinema's spell of seeing X-Files on the big screen because I never got to see Fight the Future will fade and I'll be disappointed. And I actually am um, embarrassed to admit I thought it was true and I had to look it up on the internet on Wikipedia to be told that it wasn't true at all. And speaking of things that aren't true, but are presented as such, we have reached December, the final month of 2009, and I saw two films. The first was Paranormal Activity, which, this is the month I started blogging, so you will have known what films I've seen this month. But I will go over them anyway. Paranormal Activity was good. I didn't think it was amazing. I respect that such a low budget film has got so many people hot under the collar and scares them but it didn't scare me and it didn't scare my friend but I think on reflection she likes it a lot more than she did when she was watching it we're nearly done the last film in December that I saw was New Moon The Twilight Saga I think accepting is the better word. Because I'm not anticipating the next film yet. But you know what I am anticipating? The movies that I'm going to see in 2010. Hopefully. Speaking of New Moon. The Runaways. Not for Kirsten Stewart. And not for Dakota Fanning. <laughs> but for Scout Taylor Compton. Who totally is underappreciated in the trailer. Hopefully there'll be a better trailer released. Because she's like she's in the background and that's it. Her name isn't even mentioned. It's so sad. Oh, so sad. I know she plays an awesome part in it. Because I'm a fan of hers and I follow her. And we have reached the end of my movie review of 2009. <laughs> I hope I can edit this film and bring it to you before midnight. <laughs> Goodbye.